So far, we've been um, putting the style sheet out as a separate sheet, and I've said that's the best way to do it. I haven't said why. There's actually a number of reasons why. For one thing, this is just a lot neater. We can put all of the um, CSS in one file and the HTML in another file, and it keeps both of them looking much nicer and easier to maintain. Uh, another reason is that because they're separated out that way, you can actually have s different people work on both of those sites. So if, for example, you can't change the HTML, you don't know how to change the HTML, or you don't have permission to change the HTML, you can work just on the CSS. And likewise, um, if you're making changes to the HTML and don't have access to the CSS, that's fine. Um, perhaps the most important reason, though, is that this single CSS file can be linked to by tens or hundreds or thousands of pages in a site. So let's say you run a very large corporate site or a university site and all of a sudden you change your logo or you change the cut your your colors, the the palette for your for your company or your university, rather than going through and changing thousands of individual pages, you just go to your single CSS page that's linked to from each of these pages and you can make one change in one line and instantly thousands of pages look different. So that's the that's the biggest reason to use a single CSS sheet linked to from um, all of the pages in your site. However, I would be remiss if I didn't at least touch on the other two ways you can use CSS. One is right in the head itself using the, the style tags and actually um, even though it's not strictly needed, we should probably do text CSS as the type. Um, so you can do a, a style section right in the um, head itself. And um, you, you do the CSS just the way you normally would. So let's say color blue. We're once again selecting the H1 and then saying what color we want the, the text to be, blue. And I'm going to save this, file save. And then I'll go over here and refresh it. And it'll die. Style, close style. I'm letting you see me make mistakes. Oops, and save. Um, and you see it's now blue. Uh, generally, you don't want to color text blue because people, users assume that's a link, but for illustrative purposes, that's okay. Note here that it's blue even though we actually have declared it twice. Here, we've assigned it the color green, and then inside here, we've, we've done it the color blue. We've actually given it two assignments, but this one wins in part because it's right here local to the, to the page. The third way you can do it is actually to put an attribute called style. And we don't have to use a selector here because we know we're already in H1. So we can just say color, we'll do red. All right, and then we'll save it. And refresh, and it's red. Again, um, we now have three declarations for color for this particular H1. But because this is the most local, because this is the closest to it, it's the one that wins over the blue and the green. So again, I, I, um, there, it's extremely rare that I would use either a, an attribute or use a style section. But they are permitted by the, by the standard, and they're available to you. They're just not very widely used, um, at least by good designers, because there are so many advantages to using an external style sheet.